Hey guys, Tennessee Frank here. Let's shed some light on a few things. It's Tennessee Frank. All right, what we have here is some uh, little solar powered lights, 30 lumen. They're not super bright, but they do give you some light in dark areas. You get these little guys at Lowe's for about 12 bucks. Um, we got some nails. I'll show you what them are for in just a minute. And we have some 8 inch flower pots. And uh, the whole deal here, and uh, also PVC pipe, and I pre drilled some holes in, in the PVC. The whole idea here is basically what I got set up right there. And this is a solar light in a pot so it's portable you can move it around I installed another one down here by the fence and you see it's in the ground it's not portable I can't move that I can't do anything with that um, so when I'm done with these others they'll be portable so I can move them around here's a close-up of the uh, information sheet for anyone who's interested and it says eight hours operating time on average sunny day one year warranty beam angle 36 degrees 600 milliamp hours 3.2 volts rechargeable yeah just a little information here I'm gonna put in and that's these guys here and they do make larger units like I was saying, you can get a, a, a 60 lumen unit. Of course, this is the 30, 30 lumen. They do make a 60 lumen, a little bit larger. It, it's going to run you $20 in tax. These are about 12 bucks. So yeah, just whatever you want. Basically, what we have, I took a... a a 10 foot piece of half inch PVC and if you pull the uh, the spike out of here this half inch pretty much fits perfectly on here so that gives you a, a stand and uh, what I've done the reason for these uh, holes we're gonna take these nails and these nails are gonna go through And what that's going to do is when this is put into the pot, we're going to put that down in the pot with quickcrete. That's going to give that something to hold on to so the pole don't pull out. See here I have some buckets. Got an 80 pound bag of quickcrete. I'm going to take some of that, put in this bucket, get some water, mix that up, and I'm going to use that to fill those pots in. And what that'll do uh, is this quick creep being heavy it's going to give it some weight so it won't blow over in the wind which were pretty windy today plus it'll give uh, me the ability to move it around because it'll be in a, in a little pot if your nails end up loose you can always take a little bit of the handyman's helper duct tape and uh, just rip you a little piece off and then go ahead and just around each side wrap some duct tape okay and then come on to this other side get you another little piece wrap you another little piece there and that stops them from moving around so much that'll hold them in place of course, once this is down in the pot and the concrete cures around it, then you don't have to worry about that. All right, we got some quick creep down here in the bucket. Here, and we're going to mix some water in with it. And we're going to get this mixed up until it's the correct consistency. And you just basically keep adding until you, you get it to where you want it. We'll be back.
back in a minute. All right, we have them filled up pretty good. And we're just going to let that sit now and dry. And uh, sorry about all the dog barking, but we live in a neighborhood with a lot of dogs. So anyway, we'll let this dry, and then we'll get back to you. All right, as you can see, we've let this dry overnight. And this is good and solid. It's got plenty of weight to stop this from blowing over in the wind. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach our lights. Okay, and the way we're going to attach our light, we're going to go ahead and pull this spike off here. We really don't need it. And that'll leave our half inch hole here. We're just going to come over and we're going to press this down. Get it on there good and firm. And that's on there good. And then what I like to do, just for safe measure, and because I'm from Tennessee, redneck country, I like to use a little duct tape. Everything's better with a little bit of duct tape. So I'm going to take and, and rip off a strip of duct tape. And I'm going to come halfway on the light here and halfway on the pole. And I'm going to wrap this around. And this just gives you a little bit of extra added kind of security so it's not going anywhere. Um, and so now we have our light that we can move around. The way you adjust this, of course, you'll turn the whole pot to do your left and right. Up and down, you'll unscrew this. And that adjusts your height. And then, of course, you have your, your little solar panel right here that you can adjust toward the light. Um, but we'll go ahead, we'll fix the rest of them up. I'm going to place them out in the yard. And uh, then once they're out in the yard, we'll let them charge all day. And then uh, I'll be back a little bit later after it's dark just to kind of show you how they light the place up. And this is going to be my light placement for now. Um, this one will illuminate this part of the corner. This light here illuminates this wall. And this light will illuminate back in this area. Um, when my other light's done, it'll go here and it'll illuminate back in this area. I might put some more back here later just to light this whole backyard up. So we have a little bit of light back here to see what's going on. Plus, I can always move these and use them on my bocce ball court if I want to play bocce ball. Yeah, I put them like here, here, here. There's another one I got set up in the concrete but I can stagger them here and we can play bocce ball at night in the summer when it's too hot to get out during the day. Here it is with the lights on in that corner. You can see how well that light sat up. And you can hear our neighbor's dog. We have too many dogs around here. And uh, I have another one over here. And then this one helps light that up. And then, of course, that's the one for the porch up there, lighting that up. Yeah, you can see. I mean, they're not super bright, but it does kind of open that corner up where you can see what's going on down there. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. Have a good one. Tennessee Frank out.